So today then we are calculating some averages, okay, looking at the mode, medium, mean and range. So we need a, a data set and there it is, okay, I've got five, seven, two, five and one. These could be anything, these could be the amount of goals scored by a person playing football, uh, they could be the amount of um, eggs, chicken lay uh, in their pen, it could be anything, okay, but we're going to calculate the mode, medium mean and range. So let's start with the mode. Okay, now the mode of this data set is the number that appears the most, the most frequent number. Now, look at there, I have a mode of five, because as you can see, five appears more than any other number. So mode, is the most frequent number and that then would be five there. Now I'm going to put a nice cloud around that so I'm going to keep that all together as the mode. Okay now mode normally is the easiest one to work out okay if there are if there's no specific number that appears more than any other then there's no mode and you are expected to write no mode, um, but obviously, if not, write down the one that appears the most. So, mode median this time. Median. Okay, median is the middle number. However, you'll be tempted to put two, but to find the middle, we have to put them in order first. Now, in order. I mean, for in uh, ascending order, so go from smallest to largest. So let's do that first. Um, let's keep it in blue pen. Let's have one, two, five, five, seven. So just check one, two, three, four, five numbers, five numbers. I've got them all. Now I'm going to find the middle. So what I like to do, cross off the first and last, then the next two, and then there it is there okay so the median for this data set would be five so the median is the middle number middle number when in order let's put a cloud around that So mode, median, mean this time then. Now mean is the hardest one, okay? It's mean, it's angry, okay? It's the, the hardest one to work out. What we have to do, we have to add them all up. Okay, so we need to find the total and then divide that by how many or frequency. Okay, total divided by how many? So to add all of these up, 5, 12, 14, uh, 19, 20. So I've got 20 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 5 gives them 20 four times. So the mean average would be 4 for this data set. Remember, total add the divided by the frequency, which is how many there are. Okay, so we're nearly there. Last one, range. Now this is the one that people seem to forget. The range is really easy, okay? I've got um, five different numbers here, but the range is between the smallest and the largest. Okay, so to get from one up to seven, we're adding six. So it has a range of six. Now, an easier way to work it out would be have the, the biggest number subtract the smallest number. So I'm going to put here in brackets to say difference. Okay, difference between Largest and smallest. Uh, 
and the way we calculate the difference is by subtracting. So then I've got the biggest being seven, smallest being one, take it away. Six, we have a range of six. Now there are some different songs and different rhymes to help you remember them. I'll let you have a little, little look on YouTube and try and think of something uh, to help you remember. Um, however, I have different ways that I use. I look at these and think, okay, so mode, M-O, most. That's what I use the way I was taught and it's always stuck with me. Um, medium is the middle. Now I think of clothes sizes. I think of small, medium and large. And medium is like the middle size and medium sounds like medium. It helps me, that's the way I remember it. Mean, mean is the one that you've got to put a bit, bit of effort in to remember it. Okay, you need to, it's the, the mean one, he's angry. Okay, um, you need to think that he's, he's not very happy, so he's got to do a lot of maths. Let's do a lot of maths. Total, by add them up, divide them by the frequency or how many. Time for range, as I said, is the one that people forget. It is the biggest or the largest takeaway, the smallest. Hope that helps.